Jina naitwa Sospita Kemani Joroge. Na mimi ni mkaaji wa hapa Comanox S3. Hapa kunaitwa Infirmi Infirmi Court Party tulipo sasa. Na hapa ndio mtoto wangu alitoweka on Monday. Kuanzia saa nane. Under mysterious circumstances. Sababu hata hakutokea get kama kawaida. Kawaida nikuruka alikuja kwa fence ya my neighbor. Akatokea mlango yao akakuja kwa hibo mabao kutukuta hapa na na hawa askari wa kutoka South Sea na akapewa lunch akakaa hapa until it six that akadanganya amerudi nyumbani lakini msichana sasa mwenye alitoroka na yeye alimzidikisha mpaka kwa barabara na akasema amepanda matatu na ameenda Kariobangi South kwa my brother mwenye amenifuata but I when I confirm I had confirm for my brother's place mpaka eh? hawajamuona that was on Monday jioni sasa on Tuesday nikakaa tukijaribu kuulizana na bibi yangu na na majirani zetu hapa tukakosa jia. Na that is when I decided to go to Kayole police station. Kufika pale kwa report kwa report office we are directed to, to the children's office. So nikaenda kwa children's office na nika waelezea what had happened. In fact wali walikuwa walikuwa na andika kwa kwa laptop inaitwa jeans tablet if the information yo they ilikuwa inaingia kwa tablet kwenye sasa mtoto alitoweka hadi tukamaliza and that is when i was given a, this ob number ob number 49 tarehe 10 mwezi wa 11 2020 at 3:08 pm that is from kaiola police station now the following day on wednesday nikakuja kwa huyu mama sababu hatukuna na hiyo tuesday nimuulize vile watoto walikuja bila mtoto alikuja na vile alimwambia sasa akanielezea the same but sasa kwa huzuni yangu ikawa naye the same day nimekuja kwa mama naye mtoto yake alitoroka on Tuesday at around the same time na hakubeba kuo in fact my daughter left uh, we had a, sh- a shot and a t-shirt bila vile msichana yake alitoka tu na katoza na katop nikamwambia ile kitu mzuri fanya vile mimi nimefanya kama alitoweka jana na hajaruda huja mtrees let us go back to Kayole police station to report. Na to report na akapewa OB number yake iko hapa pia. Now from there and the follow up. Thursday, Friday na weekend yote. Na kila mara kila siku nimekuwa nikiripot bado hajapatikana. But on Monday we got some crucial information from their friends. Kasichana. She called my wife na akamwambia wako pamoja na wako sawa. Tusiwe na wasiwasi. The same day they called the mother to Taria and they told her the same. So we were interested to know wanaweza kuwa wako wapi. We went back to Kayole police station and gave the, the, the name of the girl to the officers na tukapatia namba ya mama yake. Officers were to advise they cannot go for the child not unless mtoto aletwe na mzazi. So they tried to call the mother. Huyu anaitwa anaitwa mama Braso. She was called twice but she never picked uh, the phone. So we are given a summon to take to to their home. Shauri Musiana alikuwa ametuonyesha kwao. Wakati tulikuwa tunajaribu kumuulizia. So sababu nilijua kwa nyumba so I just took the summon and left the summon to, to, to with a watchman. Eh? They were supposed to report to call the police station yesterday. Lakini haga haku report haku report wali report the, the day ya ni fortiria. Sababu mambo alisema hawezi hawezi patikana. So me on my way to Moranga nikapigua simu na ule polisi alikuwa na hii kesi. Akaniambia ule mama amekuja na amekuja na mtoto yake na ile information ambayo tunapata hapa atoni kama itawasaidia sana. Nikawaambia pana usisiniambie hivyo. Wacha nikuje nisikie nikuwa hapo. Nilikuwa kwa sababu nikielekea pahali giviwa na I'll be at the police station. That is when I called my wife and I called the other lady mwenye mtoto yake ametoroka nikawaambia tukutane kwa ile police station. Tutaenda tukapata ule mama. Kwa bahati mzuri wakati tulitoka kwa ofisi mama alijaribu kushawishi kijana yake akamwambia sababu wewe huwa ukitumia sana na sister yako na usitwambia watoto wanaweza kuwa wamepotelea wapi wazazi waache kuwagamia namna hiyo akamwambia sio okay na wewe akamwambia nipatie brasho simu ni okay na sasa brasho ni sister akala kwa jana kwa form 1 the boy insisted twice until police wakamwambia pea 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 brasho simu au okay na brasho yake but police wakasema waweke ile audio recording ile watu wataongea huko nje 
akirudisha simu sababu so, walikuwa natumia simu ya mama yake watasikia so like 3 minutes wakaogea akatirudishia simu kanuzia mama yake simu polisi wakachukua ile simu wakafukulia sasa haka kashana umeona kama pata gari ya polisi haka kama kana ito braso kalikuwa kana ambia dugu yake hawa hawa wazazi di bafara sana ni wachenzi wanalete ujika miki zana wakue na waha ama polisi wa hapa kayore wanafikiria mimi leza wasema wakile pari ya kinatabe wako siwe suwa ambia hata wakili vaja nini na ya bradaka ya kawapia unajua hile shengi ya watoto ilikuwa ni ngumu so polisi wakapata idea huyu musana lazima haya haya na information tuliabua sisi tutoke aka back pare na polisi and she stayed there for for almost four hours but to, to some it up eh? the mother kind of the mother to braso ni kama aliona hii story imeenda sana so kuna fila tuliabua kwanza sisi tutoke polisi wa ogena mama braso then all of a sudden ikasemekana ile 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 information ni kwapa ni kidogo abosi saidika so nikauliza so ni ada jibani nikisema msana yangu ameolewa Akaniambia don't lose hope uh, that fast. Nikamwambia ni taruzo because kama sitapata usaidizi kwa police station. Nitaenda wapi pengine? So wakati mambo imeweka pressure sana from different angles. Mtoto mmoja akali service na ameli service na amekuja na marafiki wake. Wenye wamekuwa akituambia hawajui bahari wako. But when my daughter is trying to catch some photos from Instagram, ina, ina wanaonekana wote wakuwa kwa group ya watu kama 14 jana ni the same same schools they are wearing now lakini ni kama wana shida pamoja lakini wao wanarudi kwa usiku na wakati sasa hii mambo ime security hivyo leo na watu sasa wamejua umeona wote wametokea wame mmoja ameletwa hapa wawili on the way to wakiwa town they were spotted by a police officer aka wakaona hii picha ni ya kale kashana kalikuwa kameza kameambiwa kamepotea akakaita na akasema jina yake akajua ni so akawachukua akawapeleka Central Police Station. So sasa hawa watatu tabii joki Shanish Mwoka na Natari Kathoni wote wamepatikana. Sasa ndio umepata wakichukuliwa na hawa watu ya Child Police Protection Unit wakapelekwa Saudi Sea for further interrogation ili tujue ni yakina nani hawa wamekuwa na wao. Because wamekuwa kituma ma audio for the last four days wakuwa warefu. Are they maybe under the influence of uh, drugs? mimi bado ni friends of alpha lakini wanaume sababu nasikia wakisema tumejua wanaume wako na pe wana tunatu sasa ndio tumejua kuna wanaume wako na pesa and apparently what happened if i remember this is her first time to to disappear i've lived here with her she just did her class eight and she went to form 1 uh, they just were there for two days then corona came up i found tabi Tabi is one of Natalie's best friend. She's just a neighbor here opposite and they are best of friends. So I found them in the house and it was drizzling. So the first question I asked Tabi, why are you in shorts and it's this cold? She told me, I was doing laundry and actually I'm going home to change. So how with Italia, I found them here. Now she was assisting Talia with the laundry. I told them, then have lunch and some food, you go back to Uh, you go to the house and change. That is what they did. They went and they came back after one hour. Then shortly, after another one hour, they told me they are within the court, they'll be back. And I told them, Namujue, hatutaki ya ibu ya kuenda kurudi kwa nyumba by 7. By 6.30, munajue yu ndiyo kafio, yenu. So they went. Natalie, akarudi earlier than iyo 6.30. Nikamuambia, hey mama, wana leo ni nitakuklapia umerudi earlier than kafi 10 ya hii nyumba then nikamuliza and where is tabi no tabi ameenda kwa aunti yake south kariobangi nikamwambia ai but you never told me she's going to south kariobangi you told me that she's going back to the house nikamuliza wazazi wanajua eh wanajua ati kuna mwangu aliacha huko south kariobangi kwenye alikuwa ameenda previous week so anaenda kuzipika story kaisha hapo the parents to tabi wakanipigia is tabi there kaambia hapana tali ameniambia she went to south to south kariobangi or kariobangi south so tukalala tu hivyo the following day my daughter was a bit confused and she was really looking confused mpaka her big sister her name is sandra akamuliza ai talia uko okay 
Akamwambia si anaidanga na anarudi kama ameenda kwa aunti yake si hata wewe sometimes you go to your aunt story kafika hapo kitu 3 hours after lunch time sister ya tabi now the girl who said she went to the aunt to the aunt place akakuja akaniambia aunti they call me aunti aunti um, mama amenipigia sasa mama tabi amenipigia akaniambia uh, twende tukatafute tali uh, tabi sector because she has a friend there in sector 3. Nikamwambia oh okay I hope mumpate kama hakwenda South Karubagi that is really worrying and disturbing. So and then na kuja na yeye immediately. Wakaenda. Kitu 7 nikashidwa ai na hii kafi wameanza kuitharau how come it's 6:30 na hajafika. So nikaenda kwa kinangadha now the sister to tabi nikamuliza kwani kumeendaje hapana nimeacha talia na mabishte yake just around anakaa mimi nikatulia kitu 7:30 pm talia kaniandikia message mom i'm having sleep over at kinatabi na kanicholea emoji ya love heart why that was unusual nikashindwa how she's just here they usually come and parents call me if stabi is having sleep over same happens we have to be in communication so in the doubt, I called Mama Tabi. Akaniambia, I Italia has not been seen here at all. Now from there, to Kalala to Kiuliza friends who could have contact. Now to Miss Asiliana na Baba Tabi. Because now Sasa Yimekwa, one is a koteaje on interval jana na wumi. So sa palazuma kuna kitu. To kanza ku ku track friends wow. But to kaona, let's first go take OB because kizi ya maina. Hawana ID, actually they are 14 years old. Tutaka aje, let's go to Kayole police station. Tukaenda kusema tunataka ubi for missing kids. Walipotea lini, tukasema. Tukambiwa, tutawatuma, juwaonu watu hii, tutawatuma jeda and children. A particular Friday, they called. Wakaniambia tukoburu na na na, na tunalalanga kwa kina braso nikamuuliza why mom nilikukosea nini kasema si wewe mimi ni vile tabia ametoka na mimi tukatoka nikauliza mko buru wapi we come and buy you lunch waka switch off phones na zikaenda off mpaka that time sasa tukaona hata hii police we are going round sana the best thing it's now to, to do the media